Hey everybody, welcome to part three of how to create your own Crossy Road application with Swift and Xcode. Today I'm going to show you how to add score into your application, so let's go ahead and get started. So let's open up our Crossy Road.xcode project and let's make this a bit bigger and head on into our ViewController.swift. Now I am going to programmatically do this and if you want to stay tuned till the end of this video, this was going to be just a really short video as I'm just going to show you how to do the score. Now. I'll show you at the end of the video why I'm programmatically doing it. But right now, let's say var score label is equal to a UI label, open parentheses, close parentheses. So now we have our score label created. Then we also want to create a score. So we can say var score is equal to, and this will be just an integer. So this will be equal to an integer, open, open parentheses, close parentheses. And then head down here into your view did load. And now we're going to actually edit our score label that we created and set it to a certain size. And we can do this by saying score label equals UI label. And then we're going to say open parentheses and it's gonna give you these two, these three types of what you wanna say. So our we want this to set to a frame and this frame is going to be fit inside of a CG rect. So we're gonna say CG rect make. Our X value will be, actually if we head on into our main.storyboard and open up the assistant editor, we can I can actually show you exactly what our X and Y value are going to be. We can just take a label, put it inside of our main.storyboard. We are not going to be using this label, but this is just going to be for reference if you want to add it anywhere on your scene. So I'm going to take this label and then head on into our size inspector over here. And you will see that the X value is 16, the Y value is 20, the width is 42, and I'm gonna make the I'm going to make the width a bit bigger. Like so. And now, so this would be 77 and 21. So now we can plug those numbers right in here. So it's 16, 20, 77, 21. 16, 20, 77, and 21. So now if we go back to our label, see if those matched up. Okay, so we have our X, X, Y, width, and height. So now we have those properly made. And now we can actually take this score label and we're going to add this into our scene in just a moment. We'll, we'll add this score label right into our scene in just a moment because if you actually built and ran this right now, it would not show up in, in your scene. So we can say, before we do that, we need to say score label dot text alignment will be equal to ns text alignment dot center. So we're going to center whatever text we put in there. And then when the view loads, I personally just want to do this. You don't have to, but it's going to be, I'm going to make the text. So I'm going to say score label dot text equal to zero. Wrong button. All right. So now we have our score label dot text equal to zero as soon as the view loads. And then now we're going to add this into our scene. So we can say our self dot view dot add sub view and we're going to add the sub view of our score label. Now I know it's not a view, but we're adding basically a child or we're adding a property into our view or an object into our view, not property. So now we can take this sub view. I mean, this is the sub view, so we can add, we're adding the sub view. And if we actually built and ran this, we will get our player building properly. All right, so as you can see, I have a label up here and I forgot to erase that label on my main.storyboard. Now let's build and run this again. And now as you will see, I have the score label building onto our Crossy Road project and it's just gonna be centered right over here, exactly where I wanted it. And now if we were to click, as you can see, there's no problems going on, which is good, but that's not where the problem lies. So we can go in down here into our move and we can say score plus plus, and then our score label. So basically in our move, if you don't remember, it is at, it is called any time we are tapping the, the screen itself. So we're calling this every time we tap the screen, we're going to add one to the score. And then we can take the score label and actually add this score text onto our scene. So now we can say score label dot text will be equal to open quotation mark, close quotation mark. And inside of these quotation marks, you just want to have a slash 
open parentheses, close parentheses, and this is going to allow us to add a variable inside of our text. So we can put inside of these parentheses score. So now as the score is being added to, or as soon as this function is called, we are going to also call this and we're going to add the, sc add the score into our score label.txt. So now if we built and ran this, you will see that our score is building and running properly. So now we're adding one to every time we click the screen. And now uh, there's a there's a cool thing that you can do. So if you, if you're done if you don't want to have just plain old count by one every time, you can say score plus equals ten or however many points you want to add onto your into the score every time you click this move function. So now you're actually going to be counting by ten anytime you tap the screen. And if you made the label wide enough, it's going to keep continuing on until it doesn't fit in the label or whatever you want. So now we have our score, it's building and running in there, and that is how we do our score. Now that is it for this tutorial. Now I have been trying to figure this out myself for a while, and I just want to, this is explaining why I didn't use a UI element. So if I were to actually take this score label, delete that, and we can delete that out of our view did load as well. We can take this score lab this label down here, we're going to add that into our scene. We're gonna make it a bit bigger, go into our attributes inspector, center it, this is just a test. Then right click or control click and drag from our label, go, and we're going to insert an outlet, and this outlet will just be our score label connect. And as you can see, it's going to update everything. So now if we were to actually build and run this, we will have score going into our label. But there's a catch. Now as you will see, I don't know whether this is a problem with, with Swift or with Xcode or whatever, but we have this and it's counting up by 10 every time, but it's also like resetting the scene every time. I explained this in my last video. I don't know, I didn't know what's going on. I still don't know what's going on, but I figured out how to fix it and I did. And that was the first part of this tutorial. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Anyway, that's it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button down below. And if you wanna see more tutorials like this from me in the future, be sure to subscribe. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I know it was a short one. I will be adding more and more tutorials later on. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.